Hello, my name is Kyle. I'd like to pass along a couple of tips about handling digital photos. In this video, I will tell you how to view the information inside a digital image. Metadata are the technical details about a file, including hardware and software that produce the file, time and date, and sometimes even geolocation. In the case of photographs, this is called EXIF. There are many different EXIF viewers, but today we will use Jeffrey's EXIF viewer. Most EXIF viewers will allow you to either upload a photo from your hard drive or view it from a URL on the internet. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Let's open two new tabs in your browser. One will be for this easy to use EXIF viewer at regix.info slash exif.cgi. And the second new tab will be to snag an example photo from my friend's Tumblr page at curbster.tumblr.com. Okay, I have my two new tabs ready to go. Jeffrey's EXIF viewer here and Curbster's Tumblr here. I'm going to choose this second image by left clicking on it and then right click on it to bring up a menu that will look something like this depending on what browser you're using. We're going to select view image so that we have a URL up here in the browser that ends in something like JPEG or another photo format. We want this whole URL, so we're going to use the shortcut Control-A, and then copy it with Control-C, and then bring it over to our tab number one and paste it into Jeffrey's EXIF viewer with Control-V, click View Image at URL. That opens our image in Jeffrey's EXIF viewer, and we can see the metadata embedded in our image. We see that the image was captured on a smartphone, an HTC Windows phone. We have exposure and flash information. We also see the date and time that the image was captured. And on a cell phone image, this information is highly accurate because it is set by the nearby cell tower. Unlike on a regular camera, which relies upon the user to set the date and time. We also have latitude and longitude embedded in this image. On Jeffrey's EXIF viewer, we can see where that latitude and longitude is located with the embedded Google map. Just zoom out for a little context to see where the image was captured in Geneva. Scroll down a little bit lower and you have the full EXIF data embedded in the image. Again, we have the camera model name and whether the image was captured horizontally, vertically, all kinds of information. Again, the date and time of the original of the photo and if it had been modified, we may see a different date and time for the create date for this image. We also see that this image was created using the Windows Phone software as opposed to Photoshop. On a regular camera, we may see an embedded serial number in this XF data. GPS is frequently available from cell phone images, specifically from iPhones, because it was often set as a default on setting. If the user has chosen to turn that information off, that information will not be recorded in the image. Similarly, in some social networking sites, we will see that they've compressed the uploaded image to optimize their website for efficient viewing by users. Compressed photos on these sites, such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, will not have detailed EXIF. It will be stripped down to a bare minimum, and we won't have all of this embedded information. 